Uh, let's return to uh, this damning independent report into the law firm Russell McVeigh, which has found it had a so-called work hard, play hard culture, which in some instances led to excessive drinking, cynically playing summer clerks who are university students basically with drink, crude and drunken behaviour and sexual harassment. It also identified pockets of bullying. The company commissioned the review after allegations of sexual misconduct were made about parties held by the firm over the summer of 2015-16, that Christmas period, a group of women working as summer clerks were kissed and groped at a Christmas party and two other incidents of sexual misconduct were also identified. It was also the follow-up uh, that was studied. Anne-Marie May reports. Dame Margaret Baisley says the young women who were sexually harassed told her they felt intimidated, confused and uncomfortable about what happened. She has found the firm missed warning signs leading up to the abuses and there was a lack of leadership in the Wellington office. I've concluded that the firm handled the incidents poorly and that the failures had serious consequences on the people involved. Russell McVeigh's chairman Malcolm Crotty attended a press conference this morning and said the firm accepted Dame Margaret's recommendations and is deeply worried about the impact the incidents have had on the young women involved. And one of those recommendations was we acknowledge and apologise for our mistakes in handling those incidents, and I do so. I want to acknowledge that our handling of the incidents was poor and to apologise for both our actions and inactions. We could have done much better and we should have done much better. Dame Margaret's report found the firm's actions in the aftermath of the sexual misconduct incidents were also not up to scratch and Malcolm Crotty acknowledged that today. We should have had outside experts involved and didn't. Specialist counselling, independent legal advice for the young woman. And again, those are things we could have done and should have done and didn't do. And we acknowledge that and apologise for it. A senior partner at Russell McVeigh, Pip Greenwood, says the firm is now very clear about what is expected in a partner. And we will be holding people to account for that. And if there are people in this organisation that don't meet those standards, then there will be consequences. And also, there may be some people that Russell McVeigh isn't where they want to work in the future. Dame Margaret Baisley has praised the women who had the courage to speak up. The young people who were involved in these disgraceful incidents and who have had the courage to speak out have been a catalyst for change for Russell McVeigh and the wider legal profession. It's my hope that the changes proposed will ensure that future generations of young lawyers will be safe and able to realise their full potential. However, a former lawyer who left the sector after suffering years of inappropriate sexual behaviour says Dame Margaret's report is simply window dressing and Russell McVeigh has carried out an exercise in trying to minimise blame. Olivia Wensley says there was clear misconduct by some of the firm's staff and a ministerial inquiry is needed to look at wider issues in the law profession. The law profession as a whole is far too small. Everyone knows each other and there's definitely circling of the wagon going on. That's why I think there needs to be a reform of legislation so that these abuses of power simply cannot continue. Meanwhile, the Justice Minister Andrew Little says the culture and conduct described by Dame Margaret Baisley is totally unacceptable and highlights the need for improvements in the legal profession. In Wellington for Checkpoint, Anne-Marie May.